and uh, the more we share stories the more we normalize it make ourselves more vulnerable and you know inspire others through our stories and it doesn't always need to be that i came first in my class or i achieved this or i achieved that but every story has its own place and shape um, so you're joining us all the way from delhi and uh, you know i would like you to do your own introduction as to how you would like to do it uh, yeah. so over to you you can share whatever you want to share uh, today with us yeah thank you so much sunil i, I think i i obviously feel very very uh, grateful to be able to kind of be a part of this uh, you know especially this kind of podcast because you know honestly you know you keep hearing about and listening about podcast about you know what have you done what do you excel at right i'm like you know in your own sphere but and everything i think vulnerabilities and how you've reached there what your journey has been is very rarely talked about right i think and and in a culture that we've kind of been brought up even if we don't want to accept it there's sometimes you know it's just a taboo to kind of talk about especially for women to uh, you know talk about the challenges because it's just expected that you you know you handle uh, things so yeah i think um, you know coming to my introduction uh, uh, you know it's it sometimes i kind of just get choked bit and everything where do i start from so yeah so you know since you kind of gave a head start uh, to this so i i did start uh, you know working working very early on uh, right which was r- actually honestly right after school uh, because the circumstances were st- uh, such and obviously i want to kind of share about that also because the financial financial situation of my family wasn't really that great um i started working thankfully at that time uh, which was literally two decades uh, back right uh, at that time um, you know these bpos and call centers came into existence right and where they were hiring freshers and then you say freshers not really graduates but literally people you know kids out of school because they wanted to kind of you know that was a new uh, fad in india at that time i was like you know what i'm not going for a full time graduation right now because of the financial situation but and everything but i still need to get my graduation degree apparently it was very important because apparently not so much today um so i was like you know what let me just work because if i can get this opportunity um i can work i can bring in some money why not right and that's really honestly how my journey started um i have never looked back um it's it's been a tough journey but i've never looked back at least i'm insured with every um, paycheck that was coming in right i insured i have a younger sister so i insured there at least i pay for her college if i wasn't able to go uh, she should at least not miss on that experience uh, right so she did her graduation i paid for that um i grew through the ranks very early on uh, right because um, i think and now that i kind of look back uh, sunil and i want to i know it's a little bit of a long introduction but if it's okay i want to continue with it yeah um when i look back right now right as like i'm glad that i did not stop working i'm glad that it was you know probably the prompt was that i needed to get in some money home but that also made me realize the potential when you don't have anything right i'm like i i had a family but i didn't have a backing right um if things fell apart things fell apart you know there was nobody to kind of help stand by me to kind of pick up things for me and to even give me that assurance that everything's going to be okay we are standing by you right i'm like and obviously at that time it was my family so at that early on i realized that it has to be whatever wrong or right decision that i take it has to be my accountability only right um and yes obviously i've made mistakes i mean you know everybody's human i've made mistakes i've realized those uh, you know obviously um learned through those experiences um it's been extremely challenging i have realized that you know in a in a male dominated society right uh, when you've been brought up and you you know especially in a work culture bit and everything why is it important to have strong women and strong women does not mean that you kind of are outspoken and you kind of become very aggressive or anything no just just put just speak up right just be heard just be visible which we're not taught to do because from the start when we're kind of born we're taught to kind of listen and accept what's been told and just agree right instead of kind of speaking out but i kind of realized all of that really on my own 
you know, when I started working and I kind of realized my potential through that, that, you know, communication was one thing that I kind of realized that if I have the confidence, I can communicate really well. If I know what I'm talking about, um, I can actually present myself, right? Um, and if I don't know anything, I thankfully, I, you know, um, I also kind of got coaches and mentors early on in my career that told me that even if it's a stupid question, just ask, but just ask, right? So that's what really my journey really has been through, at least from a professional aspect. Today, um, I'm a part of an early stage startup, been here for three years. I manage the HR operations for Pan India operations for us right now. I am um, out of the five people in the management team, I'm the only woman in the management team here. It's still a male dominated organization. I'm like, I, I still look at the numbers today. I'm like 80% of our workforce is men because of the business model, not necessarily because of anything else. 80% is men and 20% are women. Right. And, and you know, and I'm representing the management team, one of the people in the management team here, huge amount of accountability, a part of the key management team um, here. So, you know, build all of that. And I'm extremely proud of the fact that I've done this all on my own, right? If I wouldn't have had these difficult circumstances, if I would have, if I, I and I think about it today, if I would have had my family's backing, maybe my life would have taken a very different turn. Right. I've had a very difficult marriage as well. Right. I'm like, obviously, I'm, you know, I've been uh, divorced. I have, uh, I have an eight year old son, uh, myself from that marriage bit and everything. But it's, it's, it's been, it's been a difficult marriage for me as well, because it was a seven year marriage where I left my, uh, you know, job and I moved countries just because he was moving. And I, I and at that time, I, you know, with a leap of faith, I moved, right? But obviously, and I very, again, quickly realized that the financial independency, you know, to for a woman to be financially independent is extremely important. And I was, you know, before I got married, I was. And when I made, you know, I took the decision to, you know, let that go, I realized that how, what a wrong decision that was for me, because no matter where you are, right, no matter... On your husband, brother, father, as a woman, you never need to be dependent on anyone because your individuality kind of gets created when you stand on your own two feet. And, you know, it's it's really nothing else. All of us have the potential. It's not just women. It's about also men. All of us have the potential. You just have to be in situations which actually pushes you to realize your own limits, really. So... I think that's really, you know, been through and through my journey, uh, you know, and I'm proud of a lot of things that I've achieved, right? Also not very proud of the wrong decisions that I've taken, but I've, you know, through, like I said, through those decisions, I've realized my own, you know, there's self-reflection that's happened that, you know, where am I still very vulnerable? Where am I still weak? Where am I still not very confident? And I tend to make mistakes because of that. As opposed to realizing also my potential, right? That where am I really strong at and kind of utilizing that to hold my feet stronger on the ground and holding my ground, basically. So, yeah. 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 I think very, uh, very interesting in the way, you know, you shared yeah. right from uh, starting early, uh, working with your uh, dreams, working with so many of these uh, the challenges that are coming your way, working... Uh, in terms of how it affected your family, then also in terms of what are your learnings and realizations. You know, you you I, I heard you talk about uh, things that you're proud of, things that you, know, you are uh, acknowledging. And generally, I, you know, we've, we've heard this, that women do not acknowledge some of their accomplishments. Uh, if you were to accomplish, sorry, you know, acknowledge some of yours, uh, what would they be? Um... I think a few things would be really, you know, like I said, accomplishments from perspective that I thought that I would not be able to raise a child on my own, right? And I have been able to. I do not know that I'll be ever financially as independent, uh, right? There is still a long way for me to go. But financially as independent, that even the smallest or the biggest things, decisions financially that I have to take, for my own self, I'm able to do that. 
uh, right make and still make conscious decisions when it comes to money matters uh, right um, because again you know parallelly to my uh, professional say i hold that same kind of responsibility in my organization as well extremely important you know ensuring you know the cost is managed right i'm like what do the next 6 months or a year as an organization from a people perspective looks like right and and this is all built you know throughout time because at least people who have reported into at least people who report into me at least people who i work with parallelly at the same level right have have been you know the working relationships has been such that you know it's been easier to kind of understand the potential and also the areas of improvement for me right so accomplishments really has been personal professional i'm able to kind of take conscious money matter decisions uh, right financial decisions for that matter able to run my house you know manage my you know kids education bit and everything all you know again independently being able to do that and yes still continue to be be able to be in a position where i'm not just learning still right but being able to develop more people and especially women in the company though i am like a big promoter of you know just you know developing more women and i i consciously through my coaching meeting sessions talking sessions bit and everything i think that's that's another thing that i consciously do right because that's you do it enough and it's still not enough so yeah <laughs> i think we have i think you know like talking to you i i, I realized that there's a longer podcast sometimes spending <laughs> that we should catch up on it uh, but you know in, in the interest of time uh, if i have to you know, just get away with one last question what's your advice uh, you would give to young women or you know women watching this yeah i think one of the advice is going to be which again i wish somebody would have given me early on also uh, right there everything else is everything falls in place eventually everything does fall in place there is nothing that you cannot achieve there is nothing that you do not deserve right but think about yourself first work on yourself first achieve things for yourself first and trust me things what you want will happen eventually will happen you can't decide the time for it but it will happen but focus on yourself focus on yourself develop yourself learn never stop learning and lastly which i i still feel i cannot say enough be financially independent no matter where you are what status what company what family that you brought up in be financially independent extremely important so yeah 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 fantastic so financial independence is something that you really are yeah. gunning for and see yeah. that as the entirety here so uh, you know thank you for your time today and uh, you know i genuinely sure that more people will reach out to you or you know yeah. uh, get inspired by your drive your conviction all the things that has been left unsaid and said yeah. little bit in this episode that we have been having uh, thank you so much for the stuff your time yeah. and uh, i hope that there are more stories uh, that come out and there are more stories that make us accept our vulnerabilities accept our life and uh, the choices that we make yeah thank you so much sunil i'm like thank you so much for those kind words but yeah i think i think the last the only thing that i want is that if anybody is taking away anything from this you know a brief discussion also that we've had is really not overlooking their own potential i think that's yeah yeah <laughs> thank you uh when you write a book i think you should put it uh, put it that that overcoming your own potential is uh, mm -hmm. that that's how you should maybe put your book yeah. that's a good idea actually thank you so much for that yeah but i was yeah. thank you see you then yeah take care bye bye